My name is Jay Shango. I'm originally from Houston, Texas, and I'm a current resident of Washington, D.C. I'm here this morning to speak about a case involving my now 13-year-old daughter. Uh, in the summer of 2011, my daughter uh, auditioned to participate in a reality show, The X Factor, which is a televised singing competition. Uh, she entered into the competition. However, most contestants, particularly underage contestants, needed consent from both parents. Her mother, my ex-wife, uh, signed the consent form to allow our daughter to participate in the show, but I didn't have any information about the uh, contract that was involved with the X Factor show. She ended up participating on the show. She advanced through several rounds. And then I found out that there was a contract involved. According to the guidelines or stipulations of the contract, the show needed consent. They needed signatures from both parents. I never gave the X Factor show or any of its producers or affiliates uh, consent for my daughter to participate in their series. I informed my ex-wife uh, that she had misrepresented information on the contract with the show. She had signed the contract uh, under penalty of perjury, giving the producers of the show the impression that she had the exclusive legal rights uh, to make legal decisions for our daughter. My ex-wife my ex-wife is an attorney uh, and she was basically in a terrible bind. Uh, she signed the contract under penalty of perjury, so it put her in a situation where she could be uh, accused of breaching the contract with the X Factor show. She eventually filed paperwork in court uh, to have some of my parental rights stripped away from me so that she could continue to have our daughter participate in the show without my consent. We th went through several rounds of hearings. Uh, and eventually an arbitrator in Texas uh, did several things that I think were very unethical. First, he stripped away some of my rights to make legal and contractual decisions for our daughter. Uh, he stripped away my rights to make uh, decisions regarding our daughter's education. Uh, and he also ordered me to sign the X Factor contract and parental release form. Now, when you look at the wording of the X Factor contract, uh, contestants and their parents uh, voluntarily enter into a contractual agreement with the show. But since I never voluntarily agreed to the terms and conditions of the X Factor contract, and in order to protect my ex-wife from breaching the contract with the show, I was ordered by a Texas arbitrator uh, to sign the contract and basically uh, relinquish some of my legal rights and parental rights over to the producers of The X Factor. The X Factor show, without my consent, illegally aired footage of my daughter, my 12-year-old daughter on television. Uh, the X Factor, without my consent, was essentially rewarded uh, or awarded uh, exclusive rights to my 12-year-old daughter's name, her face, her image, her singing, her dancing, her acting, her tours, and other aspects of her professional career. All of this done, was done without my consent, uh, and all of this was done as a result of some of the unethical activities involved in the family court system in Houston, Texas. I'm asking upon uh, U.S. legislators and government officials to step in and investigate some of these family court matters uh, and other uh, legal matters where you have a whole lot of unethical attorneys and unethical judges uh, basically stripping away not only family rights but civil rights as well. And there needs to be a serious investigation in some of these family court hearings and we need to do something about this because the family court, particularly in my case, is slowly tearing our families apart.